Heisman finalist and Hawaii quarterback Colt Brennan joins us now on the Pulse. And first off, congratulations on the honor there, Colt. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. How much did you think June Jones's last-minute lobbying helped you to get to New York? Um, well, I think it helped a lot. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, I know Coach Jones. I talked to him, and um, I, I, he truly believed what he said. And, um, you know, it wasn't supposed to be a diss on Tim Tebow. Um, if I'm a system quarterback, then Tim Tebow is a system quarterback. He's in an offense that allows him to throw a lot of touchdowns and run a lot of touchdowns. And there was a, he, Coach Jones gave a lot of great examples of that. You know, he said he had like 15 touchdowns that were under four yards against Georgia. He had 13 carries for negative 15 yards, but two touchdowns. He's in a great system, and it shouldn't be the system you play in. Tim Tebow's a terrific quarterback, a great quarterback, and deserves to be here, probably deserves to win it. But just because he had a great year and he's in a great system doesn't mean it should be knocked down. Just the same for me. I think that was Coach's point, to see how, how it's felt for the past three years to be called a system quarterback. Well, let me ask you this. If the roles were reversed and you were playing at Florida and Tebow was at Hawaii, do you think you would still have the same results? Um, I think I, you know, I mean, that's tough, you know, because Tim Tebow and me are not, uh, you know, identical quarterbacks. You know, it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges. Um, I do know this. I wouldn't try and run over linebackers. I'd try and run around them. Um, but, um, you know, I know, you know, I think that it shouldn't be what system you play in. It should be what you do in that system. I don't think anybody's done what Tim Tebow has done in that system. And without a doubt, nobody's come close to doing what me and my offense has done the last three years in the run and shoot. It shouldn't be about the system. It should be what you do in the system. And without a doubt, I'm the best at so far and he's the best so far. And that should be it. Cole, you sound like a very uh, passionate and very confident guy. Who do you think is more deserving than ever the Heisman, you or Tebow? Well, I think that with, you know, the way the college football awards went, um, I think Tim Tebow is probably going to get the award tonight. It's kind of hard not to win the best player in, in America, the best quarterback in America, and not win the Heisman. So I think he's probably got the Heisman locked up. But, you know, I had a great experience at Hawaii. Um, I don't know if any college football player can say that they were able to play in the two biggest games in the school history at the end of the year and win those games and, and elevate a state and a program where we've taken it. And me and my team are completely thrilled about where we've gone and uh, the Sugar Bowl and you know it's just a great honor to be here and that's what I think everybody needs to understand and I'm really happy for that and you know I'm just excited for what what lays ahead. Now Hawaii plays Florida next season uh, how badly do you wish you were suiting up for it? Um, well, yeah you know I, it, it's gonna be a great game obviously I know that you know um, you know they're licking their chops down in Florida especially what, after the comments coach Jones made but you know coach Jones is excited and I think the whole team's excited um, you know, we've never backed down from playing big time teams. Last year we took on five BCS opponents. Um, we tried to take on as many this year, but no one would really play us. So, I mean, they're excited to go down there and, and showcase what they, you know, the, the new offense and the new talent that Hawaii will have next year. Obviously, coming off this year, there'll be a ton of momentum. It's going to be a great game, and I'd love to be there, but, I, you know, my career is over with, and I'm excited for the next steps ahead. Well, Hawaii is the only undefeated team in college football. You guided the team to a BCS Bowl. Do you think you've, you've finally earned respect from everyone in the country? Well, I mean, I think that we've definitely earned respect, and I think that you can see the respect. Um, you know, now it seems like people don't know where to put us, you know. We've, we've done so well, but how good are we? And um, that's what the Sugar Bowl is going to give us a great opportunity to do, is to come out and really, you know, give some respect to, to what this team has accomplished, not just this year, but over the past couple of years. And, um, you know, that's what the exciting thing is, being a mid-major. I mean, this is what you shoot for is a chance to play with the big boys, and we get that chance uh, January 1st. Colt, we have some viewer emails. And Leo in Hawaii, do you feel like you were at a disadvantage with the voting because most, if not all, of your games are on too late for most voters to watch? Well, I mean, I think it would help, you know, obviously, if uh, more people could see us. But we had a, a couple games at the end of the year that were nationally televised, you know. Um, they were a little bit late in the night, but, um, you know, um, this is college football. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> we live in Hawaii and, you know, we live in paradise. We can't complain too much. Yeah, no, it must be nice. Uh, you once backed up Heisman Trophy winner Matt Liner in high school. If you win it, how much trash talking will, be, will there be about who's the best quarterback between the two of you? <laughs> um, well, he's got two national championship rings, so I mean, there's only so much I can say. Um, but, you know, Matt's a great guy. I wish he could have been out here for the ceremonies. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know if there'll be trash talking. I think it'll just be like, I mean, can you believe this happened? You know, going from where we were in high school, talking about playing in college and 
to both be recognized at a Heisman Trophy ceremony. I mean, it's just, we've come so far. It's just a great feeling. We have another viewer email. This comes to us from Bobby in Minneapolis. Colt, I read the article about you and ESPN the magazine and wanted to know just how much Hawaii's island love has helped your life inside football and out. Um, well, basically, when I, the reason I went to Hawaii is that it offered this place to kind of get away. And, um, you know, I wasn't going to Hawaii necessarily just for football. I was kind of going there just to kind of regain my life and figure out what I wanted to do. And, and, and Hawaii gave me that confidence to really decide, hey, you live your life however you want. People out there, the thing they do best is they know how to enjoy life. And I, and I love that about Hawaii. And I think that when I went out there and I got comfortable living, I got comfortable with the life I was living, that's when football really took off for me. And um, I think it's important. I think if, if, if off the field you got things taken care of, it makes it a lot easier on the field. We have another question from Hawaii, this one from Isaac. Cole Brennan, mahalo for this exciting season. What would you say has been your greatest accomplishment as a Hawaii Warrior player? Um, the, greatest, the greatest accomplishment for me, um, Definitely, when I came back from my senior year, there was only one thing I was looking to do, and that was to go 12-0 and and go into a big bowl game. And, um, you know, it was a team effort. Obviously, I missed two games because of injury. I was knocked out of two. And, um, you know, there was four games that the, the team had to come together and win. I think that's been a great thing. It's made our team that much more, you know, camaraderie. It's, it's really just made us a better team overall. And I think that ending my season as a senior 12-0 and has been the best accomplishment I've had. Now, you learned enough Samoan so you could call plays at the line of scrimmage. Teach us a little Samoan right now. Now's your chance. Um, I just asked the girl sitting behind the guy behind the camera to bring me a cup of water. Please don't ask me to repeat that, cult. <laughs> just like what you said. You said it perfectly. <laughs> hey, cult, a, a great talking with you. Congratulations on the great season, and have fun tonight, and good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys.